Y'all, you know what it is. It's them kids and wives and 925s, but we are still married to the games. Episode 367. Uh, 612. <laughs> what does that number mean? It should be the name of this episode because we're potty training Milo and he's got a cough. So next to my bed, I usually put my phone with their little camera on in there so I can hear if he's coughing or if he's like starts stirring. It sounds like he needs to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. What I didn't know is Uh-oh. that my phone somehow unplugged from the wall Ooh. during the night. Not unplugged Ooh. from the, yeah, I would have noticed if it was, just wasn't plugged in. Unplugged from the wall. And so this morning I wake up and hear the kids running around. <laughs> uh oh. And I'm like, Uh-oh. And, and it wasn't us. I was like, huh. The kids usually don't get up at five o'clock in the morning. Uh, my phone is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just try to reach over Jenny while she's sleeping and see what the 612. <laughs> <laughs> For those that know and have listened to the show, we recorded uh, 5 30 in the morning, which is what time. <laughs> Ed and Tim were here. <laughs> That's right. We were here. We had a lovely conversation. We're like, yep. <sighs> it's all good, man. It's mm-hmm. it's great. I've, I've never been closer to Ed. It's been we, awesome. We got all the Borderlands 3 spoilers out of the way. That's right. That's right. We had a huge <laughs> okay, Borderlands good. conversation. Everything good. was fantastic, man. It's, <laughs> it is all good. I'm now potty trained. Ed's potty trained. We're all good. Yep. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All good. On a Ugh. serious note. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, it is just me, Tim, and Ed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because just like we freaking said last week, we deal with games and life, life and games mm. on, on this show. Mm-hmm. And life for the second week in a row has devastated this podcast our boy chris yeah. mccracken lost his father um last week and i don't know very much of the details but it was not it was suddenly it was not something that um they saw coming mm-hmm. and it is um really uh tore up uh his family and so yeah mm-hmm. uh we have been praying for him you guys on the discord i know has been praying for him oh yeah all the awesome and, messages yes it's great and i didn't i didn't know ron i've met uh his name was ron mccracken um mm-hmm. i didn't know ron i know uh chris's mom but i don't mm-hmm. know his his dad and right. but seeing the outpouring of people on his facebook and things like yeah. that it seemed like in talking to Chris about it just a little, I talked to Chris only for the first time last night and mm. um, since, since his dad passed. Oh, wow. Um, and it seemed like he was just like a lovable joke it around. Yeah. Kind of cat. Yeah. Yeah. And the three of us don't know the dad, but I tell you this, we do know the son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if the apple fell anywhere close to the tree, Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then Ron was dope. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Ron was a good guy. He cared about people. If the apple didn't fall too far from the tree, he was the guy that you go to talk to about something. Cause we know Jenna and Jenna, mm-hmm. Chris's sister is caring and loves people. Yep. And uh, Chris is the same way. And Chris is jovial. You guys know him. He's loud and loves to laugh and cackles. And so if, mm-hmm. if Ron was anything like his children, mm-hmm. then we lost a real one last mm-hmm. week. Yep. And that uh, sucks, man. Yeah, I've been thinking yeah. about him all week, man. I, I was up even at like 4 o'clock this morning just tossing and turning. I didn't know if he was going to be on the cast. And then that, that just got me thinking about him and just all the what they're going through. And it's just like the fact that it was sudden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, because... I kind of felt at peace last week, Gabe, when your father-in-law passed because, you know, you said he, he was in his sleep and like, that's mm-hmm. great. And I mean, we knew he had some health problems, but other than that, that was sudden as well. But yeah. for me, it just felt a little bit more peaceful and this just feels very abrupt. Yeah. And yeah. very like, 
Ooh, and like I have been hugging and kissing my girls right. like every day now because mm-hmm. you just never know. That's and you right. thank God every day. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. it's just it's yeah, it's crazy. And 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 I I know everybody echoes this, but Chris, we love you, man, and yep. we love your family. And I can't imagine what you're going through, but you know, we are here and uh it's it's just insane. Yes. It's 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 terrible because because we're so far apart from each other. Right. Um, you know, he's not just down the road where I can go give him a hug or, right. you know. Yeah, and take so some all food. I can, mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, all I can, you know, uh, all you can do is let him know you love him, you know, pray for him, and that still doesn't feel like enough. Right, and, right. And that's probably a guilty, a, a selfish thing. Like, well, I want to feel like I've done something <laughs> rather than, you know, maybe I right. did. You know, yeah, and I th- like w- when Chris lost his job. I thought back to okay, when I have been let go, what did people say that that made me feel better? And I'm like, nothing did. Exactly, you know? exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I find myself, I found myself on a ton of websites this week. You know, like how to help a grieving friend, and it's all you know, go to their house, do this. With, yeah, it's all know. yeah, all touch touch them stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly it's like but my friend isn't right here what, <laughs> I know, right? what can i do I know. be oh, as intrusive as possible yeah. how do yeah, i help on great. the internet yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's just been it's just you know if you follow the uh, podcast at all you know it's been a a heck of a, a, a couple of months for chris and i just oh it broke it breaks my heart yes yeah, yeah. Oh. but it's been um amazing to see our community rally oh, around man. him and i know yeah, that absolutely. like absolutely I know thoughts and prayers, like just that saying can get a little like long in the tooth where you're like, oh, okay, okay we get it. Yes, thank mm-hmm. you. But I think it does penetrate the heart. And and I d- yeah. do know it's coming from a um, a real place. Yep. Um, yep. So, Chris, man, we're sorry, buddy. And yeah, uh, we're glad. And just so you guys know, we had to talk Chris into not being here this week. <laughs> yeah. Very true. <laughs> That's the guy Chris McCracken is. Yeah. He's like, I, yep. I think I'm going to do it. I was like, ah. yeah. And he even said, he's like, I got nothing. I got no news. <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm not playing yeah. anything. Yeah. I, like, I, I, I just want to be, be a part of it. Yeah, like, but yep. you can be there. And like, Gabe, you oh, said, if, yeah. great. You were just like, dude. No, settle. <laughs> just relax. Like you cannot yeah, yeah. take. You do not yet week. take a break. Yeah. Take a week. Mm-hmm. Take two if you need to. Yeah. You, yep. This is. You know, we are here for you. And uh, yeah. Yeah. He almost oh. coughed at me last night when I told him to take two weeks. I was like, "Hey, man, even if you took two weeks, yeah, yeah, yeah right." <laughs> uh, you no, I don't know, need to do that. that. I was like, "All right, I'm just that saying." Might be, yeah. I can see that. Like by two weeks, he's probably like he might want to be able to want to talk about something else, and that's fine. But exactly, give him, but, you know, give him his space and let him do his thing. Right, because we do good. love this thing, and I've and I talked about it last week when my father in law passed. Gaming was something I ran to. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so is an oh man, maybe I should have let him be on the show. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. he's supposed to sit this one out. But yep. um, you know, just like anybody, I think you know when it's this when it's this close, boy. Woo. We, yeah, yeah, it's close. Yeah. You know, it's, it like, yeah, it's not like his uncle's hamster died. You know what I'm saying? This nope. is, you know, mm-hmm. no, this no. is a, a parent. So, uh, yeah, we're here. We're holding you up, man. We're we're right behind you, with mm-hmm. our arms up in prayer and arms up if you need to fall back. We yep. are all here. So yes, and it was so weird, man, because Chris was just the guy consoling me a week ago. Yeah, mm. yeah, and so uh, I feel like my community really helped me see what to do and yeah. how to just kind of like be in the face mm-hmm. of, of tragedy like this. So I found myself a lot of the time actually thinking because Chris is so good at being level headed and, and, and helping you face yeah. what's really in front of you as opposed to what mm-hmm. feels like it's in front of mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of times I find myself thinking, what would Chris tell me yeah. if I was feeling this? <laughs> exactly. And because I don't think that way, I don't know what Chris would have told me. I <laughs> know. Yeah. Shoot. No. He probably would have told you to play Metal Gear or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So we are three-legged, um, which is all right. And we, yes. we are going to make it. Uh, we did start really late. <laughs> <laughs> this is the speed edition. Yes. So uh, let's be quick about it. Um, I did have this thought yesterday. That the mm-hmm. worst thing 
about Chris not being on the show is that he's probably going to oops us. So oh, yeah. Now that he's no. now that he's going back to the OG ways of taking in this podcast, he's probably going to oops us. Yeah. Which sucks. Thanks a lot, Chris, yeah. for oopsing us. Yeah. Already. <laughs> Thanks, bread fan. Yeah. Uh, so let's be quick about it. Edward. Yes, sir. You are going to TwitchCon tomorrow. I am. Yes. Oh, my yes, gosh. Sir. I'm so excited for you. I am, too. I don't know what to expect. I've never been before. I'm excited to, to find out what's there and what I'm going to take home with me. And, and uh, yeah, yeah it, it's going to be a good time. It's in San Diego. Ooh. I'm going to stay with my sister, Jamie, while I'm there. So oh, she nice. lives in San Diego? She oh, lives in San amazing. Diego. I didn't know that. I need to go stay with Jamie. Short Uber ride away from the convention center. So it'll be, oh my uh, gosh. Be nice. How long are you That's there? So uh, cool. it, it, I leave tomorrow, Thursday, and I get back Monday. The convention is from Friday to Sunday. Wow. So, it, what's, are you going to be tweeting, Instagramming? Like, are you uh, during the whole thing? Are you going to go, are you going to go dark or, and we'll just get a review next week? What, what are your thoughts? Are you going to so be far? Twitch streaming from the app from your phone? I know I should. I, I'm, I'm yes, sure at some point I probably will. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but so yeah, I'll probably do that. I'll probably uh, do mostly Twitter. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I I feel like I can't go to TwitchCon and not Twitch stream from there. Um, mm, you and everybody exactly. else. Yep. I know exactly. And it's funny because that's one of the things that's like, just so everybody knows, filming is allowed. <laughs> so <laughs> You're like, well, th thank you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Like yeah. and subscribe here. It's, that's right. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun time and and uh, and anything I can do to make make what I do better, I'm all for. So I'm looking forward that's to learning awesome. some stuff. And and there's a couple friends that I've made that uh, that will be there that I'm looking forward to to meeting in person finally. Mm -hmm. uh, so it should be a really good time. Um, so excited. Been, yeah, yeah, I am too. I am too. It's been a it's been a good week. Uh, it's been a lot of Borderlands, um, yes. just like it was last week. A little bit of Overwatch, but mostly Borderlands. Um, uh, Sarah and I. It's it's funny because I don't know how long the game is supposed to be. I don't know. I know people that have beaten it with three separate characters already. Oh wow! What um, really? Both? Yeah. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> Sarah and I are, we have played together, just the two of us together for one day, 23 hours oh. and 53 minutes. And I don't think we're close to what? Being, yes. You played the game for two days in Almost game time? Two days. That's amazing. What are y'all doing? Having dance parties? I know. Right? On my stream, I played a different character for one day, five and a half hours. That's awesome. Oh then I gosh. have a third character that I play when I'm not with Sarah and I'm not streaming that I've played for six and a half hours. I'm loving this game. Oh <laughs> my you think? gosh. That is incredible. Oh, that is amazing. Uh, it's so much fun. Last That's night. So, so many guns and so much loot to think about with so three different many characters. Guns. Oh. So much loot. <laughs> my head's about to explode. Oh, and it's just so nice. Last night, Sarah was like, uh, do you want to get in some Borderlands? And I was like, oh, we got to record in the morning. And she said, we'll just go an hour. And I said, all right. Well, four hours four later. Four hours later. Oh, exactly. I really <laughs> you still were here on time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Shoot. So it's just been, uh, it's so much fun. Um, it's just, we're, we're having a blast. I don't know how many times we have just laughed together. And, you know, she's sitting next to a pipe with a valve on it that's red. And she says, what happens if I shoot this? And she <laughs> shoots it and just gets dumped with corrosive acid. And, that's oh awesome. You know, I'm laughing at her and I'm, how did you get past this electricity pool? It keeps shocking me. And she, she literally <laughs> said, I used the jump mechanic. And I, oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> that's awesome. The oh, jump yeah, that's right. Mechanic. I can jump. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm a video gamer. I can jump. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. And it's X or cross on PlayStation. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so it's just been a ton of fun. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's really all. The, the week has been mostly Borderlands Three, and it's been it's been a nice uh, a nice escape for sure. There you go. There oh, you go. That's great, man. Awesome. Tim, Borderlands Three. Back to you. Uh, oh, you too. <laughs> mm. Oh, dude. Absolutely. I'll start with the gaming front and then go back to the week. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I picked it up uh, last week, um, and I got it the day that we recorded last week. And oh, nice. that, that is 
all I've been playing. Like I <laughs> really threw, I threw <laughs> Overwatch to the curb. I got my loot boxes, <laughs> threw Overwatch to the curb, say, sit down for a little bit, partner, and uh, <laughs> went over to Borderlands 3 and just, it is, I was telling Ed earlier, it, if you've never played a Borderlands, it is very overwhelming because there's a lot to think about. You've got mm -hmm. you've wow. got four different characters, mm -hmm. all have different abilities. I am playing Flack, who's the Beast Master, so I have a little skag that comes around with me and yep. can like kill people, and it is awesome. I'm I'm usually I usually play like the, I played the Commando uh, guy mm -hmm. before on Borderlands Two, and so that's usually my guy. But I totally went different. I'm like, oh, Beast Master would be fun. I'm loving his character. And it's just, it's guns and loot, guns and loot, guns and loot, like yep. all day, every wow. day. There are so many guns in this game. And what stresses me out is I don't know which one I should really use. <laughs> so <laughs> like they have all the stats and everything, but there's so many of them. Your inventory mm -hmm. gets full and like you, you finish a side mission and the gun pops up and you're like, oh, that looks really good. And I need it, yep. but I can't grab it right now. So a lot of it for me has been management of inventory management mm -hmm. and then going out and um, I started off with like, all right, wherever I'm at, I'm just going to start exploring and start exploring. And with this one, you really don't need to because the, the great thing is that most of the side missions and all of the and even the, the as you further the story, it gets to all the different places on the map. And yeah. That way you're, you're not doubling up your efforts because you're going to come back here anyway. So once I kind of figured that out a little bit, I'm, I'm kind of in this groove now where, you know, at my level, I'll main mission that level, come back, dump a bunch of guns, get money, get new guns, get ammo, do all that stuff, and then go out and do the side missions. And then by then, like, I've got um, a good sense of the map and area, but... Like even from there, like you, you're you're now not just on one planet. You you now move, oh. and so mm -hmm. you get to explore all kinds of different areas. And oh, it's just it is just fun. It is good to be playing another border an, another Borderlands game, and it's nice, so funny. And it's like there are so many just hilarious moments where I'm like, ah, that's awesome. And yeah. so it's just we're, I, I'm just having a good time with it. Um, that is awesome. Piper had her first cheer. It's not really a competition, but her first cheer exhibition. Where hold she had on, hold on. We've been calling it competition up to this point. What happened? Why is it ex I did, ex well, exhibition? I didn't, know. I, didn't, I didn't know either. It's basically the start of this season, but they're oh, not, Lord. there's no trophy. There's nothing. <laughs> there's, they have, they still do have judges. They still have all this stuff. For what? Exactly. It's, it is basically a way for the, these teams to kind of just get their feet wet with the whole competitive nature. That's what I, I gained from it. It was an all day event. Mm. The girls went on uh, in the morning and then we went to brunch, but then we were like, Piper, do you want to go back? She's like, I want to go back and see some of these older girls and see what, what, you know, I can look forward to like, dude, the, she is head over heels into this. And love like everything she does now is a cheer move. Like she comes in, she's like, "Hi, Dad!" Boom, cheer move. She'll like bust something out. Oh, like Lord. she's like, like I love this passion. Like she's found mm. something that she absolutely loves, and she's really good at it. Like they did really well. I was really proud of them. And um, and we she, like the whole time when we came back, like she was just watching everybody and eyeing everybody. And her friend who came along was like, "Can we go now?" And I was ready to punch her in the mouth. But um. <laughs> But like she like you could just tell like she has this passion for it. And, and I love <clears> that. It's like I'm so happy for her. So it was great. So like in two weeks, I think they have their actual first competition. And so now it's just, you know, keep practicing, keep practicing. So good for her. Uh, and then uh, that Saturday night, we went to our first preseason Predators game as a family. It was Lauren Piper and me. We had a great time. Uh, Piper got on the Jumbotron. Garth Brooks was there. Eey. The game went into overtime and we won. Nice. And it was it was super loud. It felt like wow. a regulation, like a regular season game. Mm. And uh, it's just so fun to go to Bridgestone. They've up, dude, they have upgraded their menus. There's all kinds of delicious treats there. And it was just, we just had a great family time. And then Sunday we did absolutely nothing, which was amazing. There you and go. so yeah. it, it was just, it was a, just a good weekend all around. And, uh, and so it, it was, it was great. And, uh, that is it for me, Mr. Patillo. Yep. Besides 612, <laughs> what else you got going on? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, yeah, been home, uh, just doing school and, you know, with the kids and regular life. I did get into that, um, 
Call of Duty beta Ooh, and try that you? out. Nice. And I really liked it. I mean, nice. Call, Call of Duty has a way of just like feeling amazing all the mm. time. And looking amazing. And, yeah, and Dude. looking amazing. So I'm super excited for that to come out. Obviously, we watched State of Play yesterday. Totally forgot to watch the Xbox one. But I don't know if I could have <laughs> swung both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like one or the other. And I was more excited about Sony's. Well, the Xbox one was a little longer, too. A oh, was longer. it? Yeah. Was it like two hours? So Not nah, quite that long, but... We always call between three and bedtime the witching hours. Ah. <laughs> because <laughs> oh, no. because it's, it's like when you have to, like, come up with a dinner plan, everybody's home from school, uh, two out of the three kids are tired because they've been at school all day and didn't nap, and so their attitudes are bad. And they're yep. constantly just wanting snacks and want to lay around. You're like, stop, get off that. No, hey, get down. Stop. Hey, hey, no, stop. And so mm. anything between three and and bedtime <laughs> is usually a, a tough little run. And so right. that thing fell at three o'clock. Yes, our it time. did. <laughs> and yes, so I was like, yep. hey, babe, I need you to take all the kids to go get a bar up. Because <laughs> I need get to watch out. this Sony thing. And so, thank God, it was only like twenty minutes, so they were yeah, back and yeah. everything by the time it was done. And um, yep. so that was really funny. But um, yeah, besides that, uh, what else? I've been playing some Apex, some Astral Chains, still on mm-hmm. the Switch. Really loving that. Astral Chains plays so different than everything else I play, so I really mm-hmm. have to like clear my mind, and the rest really? will follow. Yeah, concentrate. Yeah. Um, and be like, okay, okay, okay. This is what we're doing. This is a totally different da- game than obviously Apex or the Call of Duty that I was playing this last weekend. Um, so really into that. So yeah, home doing the thing. And uh, router. Yes, sir. You got it. Yes, sir. Well, let's do it. <laughs> All right, new releases, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition for the PS4, Xbox, and Switch, as well as Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragonspear for the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Mm-hmm. Contra Rogue Core for the PC, PS4, Xbox, and Switch. Dead by Daylight for the Switch. No. Ice, <laughs> really, you sure? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Ice Wind, <laughs> that was really good. No. no, no. Oh, we also turned seven over the weekend. Just We did turn seven. Yeah, Everybody wondering. And your girl turned eight, eight right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah their, mm. their birthday Happy is birthday, the, the podcast and Amara's birthday are very close together. Yeah, that's so, right. It's awesome. We planned that. We planned it's our that. party. I'll sleep in if I want to. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition for the P- PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Planescape for the, uh, Planescape Torment Enhanced Edition. A lot of enhanced editions going on for the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. The Surge Two for the PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh. Dark Dark Siders Two Definitive Edition. Ooh, you like that mm. play on words? Definitive Edition for the <laughs> I get it for the Switch, brother. Go pick that up, man. Mm. That'd be good. Uh, Fight and Rage for the Switch and Rage 2 Rise of the Ghosts DLC for the PC, Mm, PS4, and Xbox One. And Gabe came up with a wonderful idea and sent me a link as kind of like a new releases vault. Yeah. So this day in gaming. And here's what I'm going to do. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do it on a Tuesday because nowadays it's Tuesdays and Fridays back in the day it was video just games Tuesday. came out on Tuesday mm-hmm. so what we're gonna do is 18 years ago Tuesday September 24th 2001 for the PlayStation 2 Silent Hill 2 came out Ooh, Ooh. that's very cool uh, 11 years ago September 24th 2008 for the Xbox 360 Duke Nukem 3D <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah awesome. 11 years ago six years ago september 24th 2013 fifa 14 came out yeah we would have said that on the show we would have you are correct sir (laughs) nice isn't that weird oh my gosh yeah wow that kind of blew my mind (laughs) for a second yeah (laughs) we were around yeah we We, were around for that we were around for that that's i was there that's right i was there so gabe thank you for that link man that's awesome i want to keep doing that because yeah. it's fun to kind of go back in time for a little bit and, yeah that's and a, see um, what came out during that i time, got a so. shout out beef master serta he he texted me he was like man on those light weeks 
why don't you have something like a, a you know this week in gaming however many years ago this was released and i was like oh, oh yeah i'll send I that to tim and see what he thinks and so yeah i thought I it was like your that. idea so i'll i'll take that away from <laughs> you and give it, it to Beefmaster. <laughs> nice <laughs> that's awesome that's no great. thank you for that man that's so cool that's and, cool right? uh, i want to keep doing it that sounds like a yeah. lot of fun nice all right back to you edward yes sir what do you got for us well i think we all got state of play on the mind oh baby yes we do down and fortunately i didn't make any bets with anyone about the release date of the last of us so <laughs> no, i'm <not> fine <laughs> yeah you are good. you don't have to buy it for anybody but chris mccracken i That's sure right. don't <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to any old episodes please nope. yeah <laughs> nope. that's amazing yeah we got yeah. the release date for last of us yes we did yeah and, and there were in the week leading up to it there were some some more leaks kind of all pointing at february february and those leaks turned out to be right february 21st 2019 and we got a nice 2020 2020 yeah. it hasn't yeah, really out. don't want to buy that game for chris <laughs> man that was so good yeah i already platinum it <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what i was telling i was telling chris last night i was like i'm about to have a problem on my hands because february 21st yeah uh 2020 uh, number one is that i mean because of the leaks it's kind of what i was expecting Right. Yeah, yeah, I didn't I I I thought either February or March. Definitely first quarter of this next year. It sounded like they had most of their stuff ready and they just need a little bit more time. I'm curious if it's going to be pushed back. Yes. I th th I still had that little in the back of my mind. Well, the first one was, let's see what happens yeah, here. Yeah, first one was pushed back like, like 6 months. I know. Yeah. I feel like a lot's gone on with this already and they and Naughty Dog is kind of focused on this now like they don't uh -huh. have multiple things that we know of right going on so they can really focus on this so i have a feeling it will that will probably be a definite date but there's still something in the back of my head that says it could be delayed yeah so here's what i th what i was thinking mm -hmm. we've got that on the 21st yeah i'm on tour i'm in okay. denver colorado that day and so i i might have to go like somewhere and buy it because yep. i can't right. not have it the yep. day of release yeah. And then I'm gone for two weeks or like a week and a half. We're like, do like, because this next tour, we're going like the west side of the country. And mm -hmm. so then I'll be in Denver, Denver, Salt Lake City. Ayo. Ayo. I know some people Ayo. there. Uh, Boise, uh, Abbotsford, Canada, Kent, Washington, Kennewick, Washington. So like, I'll be over on that side of the country. So I'll be away, which yeah. sucks, but you know, just go get it. Then March. When Final Fantasy comes out, oh, which I had gotten the collector's edition. Ooh, I think is that Fancy. the 19th that comes out? I can't remember. No, I mean the 20th. I think it's, I don't know, something like that. I think it's, yeah, I think it's the 20th of, of March because I'll be out of town again. Oh, no, the third, <gasps> I'll be home. Yay. You guys it comes just out got on to a, hear a it comes out on a Tuesday. genuine moment of surprise joy. Yes, for right some there. reason I thought I was going to be out of town. Out of town. But isn't <laughs> out of town a good thing because you can play it in the bus and you don't have to worry about yeah, kids and like stuff? Like you did but with it's about Uncharted. Getting it. Oh, gotcha. Uh, because that like be a problem. if you if you you have to like get a runner and then be like, hey, can I get a runner to go to GameStop or Best Buy or something like that? And then they'll, yeah, let's see. You know, there's a whole tour needs runners, and then. April, we have Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, oh yeah. April 16th. April. <laughs> and so I'm like, am I supposed to get Last of Us and fly through it? Because you want to enjoy it. I, but I don't think like, it's going to be that long, two do you? Bangers coming behind it. I mean, I think it'll be, be 15 hours, probably. At, at least. You think? Because it's two discs and they say it's their biggest. It's two discs? It's, it's two, two disc. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, two Blu-ray discs. Know, two Blu-ray discs. Not know that. Okay, I sir. didn't know oh. that either. How did I? How did that get past me? And they were talking about how not on State of Play, but afterwards, people were uh, that they had talked to were talking about how you know it's our largest game. It's a huge game. I don't know if it'll be Red Dead huge. No, oh, I don't think huge, it'll be Red yeah. Dead huge. But it's two discs apparently. But like thirty hours maybe then. Wow. All right. Yeah. yeah either That's way, a lot I of think... stress. That's a lot of time to be stressed. 
I'm getting, uh, I'll, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I'm going to give all, all of March will be the last of us two month for me until cyberpunk and then cyberpunk's probably going to be till like October. Yeah. But you <laughs> lost a bet as well. I did. <laughs> you have to play final fantasy seven. Oh, I did. Didn't I? <laughs> oh. I surely did. Uh, you didn't tell me when. Let's not get ahead so it'll of yourself. Be... When it comes out, sucker. No, oh, come <laughs> on. Oh. Oh. When it comes out, sucker. That hurts my heart. Oh, gosh. All right. Fine, yeah, Gabe. That's what you get. Oh, gross. All right. Hey, listen. <laughs> Gross. You better get your RPG ears on because oh, I do not th this voiceover acting is about to be uh, <laughs> about to be crazy. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, uh. Exactly. Oh no, over there. <laughs> yeah, get ready, baby. Ah, uh, dang it. Yes. Yeah, you better to make your way and through everything, it, baby. don't I? Yes. I have to buy it and everything and play uh. it. That hurts my <laughs> heart right now. <laughs> so it looks like you got a conundrum on your hands as well. I do. No. All right. Okay. <laughs> and just so you know, is Last there... of Us is two discs long. I know. So do I? Ha okay. <laughs> is there like a, is there a rage quit option in this? <laughs> I have to sure play isn't. it through. <laughs> you got to play through, baby. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> what a horrible <laughs> How did? Wait, first off. When did I even bet that? Let's and was not I even on talk about it. Just time? know that we all know that you have to get it and play it. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh. <sighs> it was a long that time ago, but Chris remembers. Long. Yeah, no, no, no. You're right. Because uh, yep. we were, when we you were playing, right. we were playing, um, well, he was playing. I was going to play with him, play Overwatch last night, but my yeah. Overwatch doesn't download. I mean, my PlayStation doesn't download Overwatch patches in rest mode for some strange reason. Yep. Yeah, mine, mine didn't too. either. So like it doesn't minutes. start downloading until uh, I get on there to play with him. Ugh. And so I'm playing Apex, he's playing Overwatch, and we're talking. And nice. he goes, mm. man, some of those clips of Final Fantasy VII look amazing. He goes, I will happily play that game. He goes, and that's good for Tim because he's got to play it. And I was that's like, right. That's right. He's got to play that's it. That's right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. So take Ugh. that, Mr. All and right. then in March, it'll be all about cyberpunk. And mm, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. it, you're not anymore. No doubt. Uh, I will honor it. I will play it. Thank you. I will rage quit it and yeah. move on to cyberpunk. You don't have to beat it. But no, you have I to will play beat it. it. I, I will, oh gosh, you just oh, said all that. All right, you said it. No, we'll see. All right, you'll. Yep. Nope. We'll, well, we'll see. see. We'll. You'll beat it. I didn't promise. <laughs> He's like, I got my fingers crossed. You just can't see uh, it. Yeah. It's on the podcast. I got everything crossed right now. <laughs> I didn't oh, promise. Geez. I just said I would. <laughs> yep. Exactly. That's his. Isn't that the same? That's his excuse not the to same. Piper. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> He's arguing in my with opinion, himself, in man. my rule book, it's not the same. What yeah. I say and what I promise are two completely Piper's different. Piper's like, you said we'd have dinner. You say, I didn't promise we'd have I dinner. I didn't promise. <laughs> I promised Enjoy. I'd have dinner. Enjoy your kale chips. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's amazing. Should we go through state of play real quick? I took yes. notes on everything. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Can we talk? What the heck is humanity and why do we need it in our lives? That's what because I want to know. Because deep inside, as gamers, we all love lemmings. I guess. <laughs> I have no idea. But I mean, what? It's like World War Z minus the Z. I don't understand. I have no idea what's going on in this I game. I have no idea what's going on. There's lightsabers involved. People are jumping everywhere. I'm like, okay. There was lightsabers? Really? Yeah. They were something. They were like, like yeah. Like, it looks like, like beat saber type things or something. Yeah. That's what I, yeah, that's what I thought was, yep. When I they think I said out other? loud, is this how they're starting state of play? What is this? Like it Sarah just walked in weird. and said, are you watching a Scientology video? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. A Scientology Sarah video. Is something else. What does that, that even mean? That is awesome. <laughs> that, that is awesome. It's funny. All right. So they had Humanity. That's coming in 2020. That's by Enhanced Games. Then, of course, they um, gave us some new trailer for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which looks amazing. Oh, so good. And I am oh so gosh. glad they are back to a campaign. Yeah, uh, and I it looks good. Like you. that campaign looks legit. Like mm -hmm. I can see a decent storyline coming out of that. So and I'm that's like, what Ooh. next month, October, October, October 25th. And you can play first on PlayStation, the special ops mode, 
And so that's the little exclusive that PlayStation has with Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. And I think we got the beta too. I don't think Xbox got the beta that just happened ah, this last okay. oh, wow. weekend. Um, and that'll help me with my <laughs> New Year's resolution because it's getting, oh, there it's you getting go. short on me. I think I've had one game beat, and I might talk you guys into letting me flub another game saying I beat it, but there's no real beating it. And then I've got Astral Chains that I'm making my way through, so that's three, maybe. Nice. And then nice. Call of Duty will be four. And then I'm struggling on getting a fifth game this year. I'll get you that fifth one game. Borderlands 3. Wolfenstein. No, Young Wolfenstein Blood. Youngblood. Yeah, Blood. Wolfenstein. Oh, yeah, me yeah. and Ed talked about playing that together. Ooh. Wolfenstein, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yes, baby. So after Call of Duty, they went into Katamari Damacy's Watam for, that comes out December 2019th. All I saw were acorns running around, silverware <laughs> holding hands, and Dude. you can do solo or co-op. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> what the heck was, was... I was like... Okay. What, that what looked is like this? a frozen yogurt's fever dream. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Exactly. What the Exactly. Was. A exactly. I was frozen like, yogurt's oh, fever dream. Fever dream. Are we watching <laughs> a Nintendo thing? Like what's happening here? Well, that's how like, the whole state of play felt. Didn't it feel so much it, like a direct? Yeah, like, it really even the really way did. they like slide the thing I even across. said it the waiting music. I was like, is this a Nintendo thing? Like it sounded <laughs> just like Nintendo. I was yes. like, what is going on? Uh, Techland then presents Arise, a simple story, very journey esque in my opinion, just minus the cloak. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought that looked kind of cool. Um, and then they went into Rockstar PSVR LA Noir, the VR case file. That's yeah. which right. Is available now, right? which I thought was really cool. LA Noir is such a good game. That yes. would be really fun to play on. What did you guys think about that one? I love that. I think that's a great idea. I was stoked. I was a little bummed. I guess not surprised, but bummed that it's all uh, handpicked cases from the original game. So, and I played that original game so uh, much. I was like, too. I, I would have liked at least a new case. Um, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, have something fresh for it. Yeah, but, but yeah. at the same time, it's been so long since I played it. I'll, I'm I'm sure I'll jump in again and 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 really enjoy it. Oh, I had flashbacks when they showed his notebook and all the notes. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I loved I never that. That game was LA Noir. Oh, that game oh, was so, so good. good. Really? So good. Um, yeah, and then they went into a bunch of VR games. There's Gorn coming out uh, winter of 2019. Um, Aspire One VR Operative, which is, looks kind of stealthy. Stardust Odyssey, After the Fall, which is coming out in 2020, and Space Channel 5 VR. Um, that's coming out, and then they went into Space Meta Channel Evil. Five. How did I yeah. miss that? That's an old. That was a um Dreamcast game, Space Channel Five. Oh really? Oh really? Yes. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Now I gotta look it up because I, I I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> and that's in VR. Let me just yep. take a peek. Yeah, that's Space Channel Five. Yeah, that was on that was on Dreamcast. Holy crap! That's it was awesome. it was also on uh PS2. Um, but oh, I played it on oh, Dreamcast, wow. Space Channel Five. It's like a rhythm rhythm game. Like oh, okay. you cool. push the buttons when they say push the button kind of thing. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't. How did I miss that? What was I doing? Honestly, it went really fast. Like I was typing really fast because they just it, like they were showing like 10 seconds of each thing. And then the only way you could find out which game it was, is there was like in the little corners where the game title was. So oh, I was like, okay, okay gotcha. after the fall. Okay. Space Channel 5. Uh, and then they went into Medieval demo launches today and you can get Dan's helmet. Um, and then into <laughs> and then they went into Civilization Six, which will be out November twenty second. Yeah, which I guess I never is a played big deal. any of those. I, I didn't played either. either four or six. I just remember a V and an I being there. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, but I definitely played a Civilization. It's fun. It's like especially if you like. I came up playing, um, like Sim City and stuff yep. like that. Where and yep. so. I, I enjoyed it, but it was like one of those things I played really quick and then put it back down. And you were done. Okay, right. Nice. Yeah. But I guess it's a big deal that it's coming to PlayStation is more the thing. Yeah, yeah I, I think it was saying it was so. the first time to PlayStation. Interesting. Yep. Uh, and then they went into Death Stranding yeah. Limited Edition Bundle and Console out uh, November 8th. Yeah, the PS4 and Pro. That right? looks so good. It does Holy look cool. cow. They did a great job on that bundle. I, didn't like, I love the, I didn't like the controller, really. I don't like that yellow. 
Oh, I like the control. I thought it was cool. I don't like that color, but then when I realized it was like the baby container, I was like, okay, that's actually oh, pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes that's sense. That's really, yeah, really cool. Mm. Uh, and then they went into Night School Studio Presents After Party, which basically you play drinking games with Satan. Yeah, you that, are, yes. Which looks, looks kind of cool, I got to yeah. say. Your it, Mi- Milo and Lola are dead. You You basically play drinking games to try and break out of hell. And it comes out October 29th, and that looks fun. I yeah, gotta say, it, it's the same company that did Oxen Free, and you can tell just the way that they're the, the speech bubbles and everything. I'm really yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. I'm kind of excited, and I kind of like the premise of it. I think that's amazing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, because that's the only way you can get out of hell, right? Is if you beat Satan in a drinking game or something like that. Yes, yes. Was this- and you got to go through all of his minions first. And but uh, but yeah, I think your your the ultimate boss battle is to basically drink satan under the table that so, is that's awesome. so funny <laughs> it's a great concept i love that it, i perked mm-hmm. up definitely when i saw him like "Ooh, this looks fascinating mm-hmm. so that was good and then they went into uh which i thought was interesting they're like here playstation plus for october here's what we got we got mlb the show 19 yeah and the last of us remastered oh, hallelujah mm-hmm. which is oh i kind of just want to play that again hallelujah now, i think everybody does yeah, I think that's smart. I think do it now while everything's like yeah, I, I, while I, it's free, and then get it. Fresh I was a in your little like MLB February. the Show, really. I was like, I was a little. All right, uh, they threw a sports game in there. I think that's fine, but uh, I think everybody's more excited for the, yeah, right for the last of us. <laughs> <That's laughs> nothing wrong with that. That's right. <laughs> so that's awesome. Good for uh, PlayStation Plus, and then we get into The Last of Us Two. Mm-hmm. We we got hit with so much like little triggers here and there. Lots of Ellie gameplay. We see Tommy in it, and then yes. then she looks over, and boom, we see a shot of Joel. Yeah, which I thought was really cool. Who I'm not was, convinced isn't dead. Really, even though he grabs her. Here's the thing. I think. Her friend, what was her name, Gina, or something like that? Because you hear, like, she's face down with a gun to her head, and yeah. then you hear shots fired, and you hear her screaming. I think Gina's the, the girl, one that the girlfriend, dies. The girlfriend yes. dies. The girlfriend dies. Yep. That would be my I'm prediction. I'm just wondering, the thing that always, the thing that's bothered me is that I just don't know if, I haven't seen him do anything right outside of her. So, yeah. like, Sixth Sense, if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, but, like, I wonder if it's a Bruce Willis kind of thing. I don't think so, man. I think it's going to be one of those surprise. You're going to play Joel for a little bit, but this is mostly about Ellie. Kind of like they're going to flip it like they did with The Last of Us, where you play Joel and then, spoiler alert, then you play Ellie in he, a couple chapters. He just seemed, the things he said to her seem so much like her conscience. Mm. You know, the first time we ever heard yeah. him talk, is like, you sure you're going to go through with this? Yep, and this yep. was like, oh, you thought I was going to let you go by yourself? And so you're just like, is he? is he like, Sam from Quantum Leap, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah right. he's there, but he's not there. I just think he's not going to be there for the first three fourths of the game. I agree. Oh, and really? Oh, you think they're going to wait that long to bring him? I think they're going to wait a while, and that, and th- I think it's going to be a big deal when he finally shows up in the game, and th- it, she's going to feel lost without him. She's going to go through all of this, and then in her darkest hour, Joel's going to show up, and yeah, as an apparition. As himself, that's not dead, and a human, as the ghost of Christmas <laughs> past, <human> flesh. <laughs> no, but here and here, this is also I got a trigger from this too because I think that Gina dies. That's when she m- might have gone on this murder spree, right. which is what we saw the very first time we saw the Last of Us stuff. Like she killed everybody, and then that's when Joel comes after that whole event uh, and says, "You really want to go through with this?" And so I think. Like, that's what triggered, in my mind, as far as the story, like, we get into Ellie's character, we get into her interests and and her girlfriend, and, like, then something tragic happens, and then she goes uh, on a spree, and I think that's when Joel comes in. I like that they showed the handshaking again. I don't know if you guys noticed, but, you know, from the very first trailer we saw where she has that handshake, and so I wonder if that'll be kind of something throughout the game, you know, where she's got bad nerves or just always on edge. Yeah. Yep. And so... uh, We'll see, man. I, I February can't freaking wait. Does, it, does anybody else like when we see these Februarys or March and April? You know, we have first quarters gonna be on and popping uh, next year. 
I get so excited because I feel mm-hmm. like it's around the corner, but then I'm like, oh gosh, that's not till after Christmas. Like I still got to get through right. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Like, as a dad of three and yep. a husband, you're like, whoa, Christmas. <laughs> that's your reward. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you get exactly. that. Yeah. Yeah. I want y'all to leave me alone for the first quarter of 2020. Right. That's right. You what got I want a month to recover from Christmas. Now here's your prize. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I love when games come out around this time too, because I, I feel like the first quarter, yes, you do have some, some, a few major games, but I feel like you have breathing room. Like a yeah. lot of other games, like everybody's really working on their summer and fall games during mm-hmm. that time. So like first quarter, like all, they did all their work back in the f- third and fourth quarter of the previous year. So you have time. Like I've always enjoyed games that come out right around that time. It's perfect. Yep. So that's, go. that's going to be great. It'll be awesome. Yeah. So that was, uh, that was pretty much it for state of play. I, I felt like for me, everything was pretty much meh up until the last of us. Um, but I, I, and I did appreciate after party and of course uh, call of duty, but, um, but I felt like, I mean, I kind of wish like that's how all the press conferences should go now. Just boom, boom, boom. Mm. Like 20 minutes, like uh, it 20 minutes felt a little short, but yeah, at the same it felt time, really like, I, short. I, I was like, Oh, and I, we're done. Yeah. I still got it, but I kind of like that format. Like I kind of wish everybody here's game one, game two, game three, next let's go into hardware. If you need to boom, boom, boom. And you're done. I miss, I, I wouldn't I like want that. them. I, I do like the, the format. I wouldn't want them to throw out the regular big stage arena for right, this right. like yeah. i still want yeah. that once a year where they're like yep. all right yep. are you guys ready and really build the tension mm-hmm. instead and then of Keanu just Reeves like comes out again yes exactly, exactly. Yeah. like what a yeah. great moment that stuff is awesome yep you're that amazing is- or whatever he says no mention of the ps5 no no yeah, hardware they they this weren't talk sounded about like it. this is yeah this is strictly games strictly hey here's what's coming up mm-hmm. and uh and yeah there you have it and i think everybody knew that the last of us to was gonna there was gonna be an announcement and oh, yeah. i think honestly that's what a lot of people probably tuned in for i know that's what i yeah. did initially and yeah. so they were all on twitter saying it was yeah it was yep. coming and immediately after naughty dog changed their uh facebook cover to with the release date and like naughty dog had their social on and popping immediately afterwards mm-hmm. so that was good timing um so everything went went really i think everything went really well for them so that was good nice yep there you go there it is um, we did see, uh, well, I'll mention this really fast only because for me and Chris, there's a data miner by the name of that one mining guy. Mm-hmm. And he dug around in the code of apex legends. Okay. Ooh. And saw that it looks like cross play is coming. What? So what he said was, I'm not a hundred percent convinced we'll see it soon, but did want to show that I found some handling for cross network play using something called Nucleus. Also looks like they have a way to standardize the player identification across platforms. So what that means is everybody will be kind of given a pin, and that's how the back end, at least, will talk to each other. Um, Mm. And then the front side, you still have your gamer tag and everything like that. But I was like, ooh-wee, especially coming off of playing the Call of Duty beta, which had cross-play. And I loved in the Call of Duty beta, what happened was you would get in a game, and everybody's once you're put in a, a lobby, everybody's name comes up and it shows what everybody's playing on. Oh, you know, you cool. have you know seven, oh, right. you know PC guys, three Xbox guys, two you know uh, PC guys, and then you could go into the filters and you can say only play with PlayStation people. Like if you oh, didn't, nice. if you felt like you're, I like that. you know with cheaters like on the that. PC side or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. You could get away from that a little bit. And uh, and so it was really dope to kind of click around in there. And so if Apex has it, I hope that they keep the same thing. Like, ooh, let's stick with you know just controllers, or let's stick with just PlayStation people, or whatever. Yeah. And so I think uh, Apex cross platform. Uh, the only thing I need now is for that thing to come out on the Switch, and uh, my life is over. Ooh, snap! Um, but I don't think it'll happen. I think oh, okay. uh, I don't think it'll make its way. Not like uh, Overwatch. So, right. Hmm. You never know. Yeah. So they have. We didn't think think Overwatch would either. That's true. They do have. Yeah. After they said they weren't. Right. Um. So they have a thing called uh nucleus in the in the login and uh, in all this data mining. You can see it and how it's broken down is like Origins SDK, Origins SDK EA account EA network. So that's PC Origins SDK Xbox One network 
Origins SDK PS4 network. And so mm. that's kind of where he's, and he's like, there's no reason for this to be here in the code. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Other than cross platform. Interesting. Play. We will see about that. Go. I don't know if we should move on or keep talking. We should at least hit on Ed. Did you watch the Xbox? Um, I watched the Inside first Xbox. half of it. It was on for the whole hour or so. Um, uh, they they covered quite a quite a lot of stuff. They they kind of talked about Game Pass in the beginning, some new games coming out. Um, the, the Xbox Game Pass app itself is going to be updated with more indie games, and there's going to be like a full list coming out September 26th of those indie games. Mm. Um, they did talk about Project X Cloud. Oh, which is okay. uh, there uh, and you can now apply <laughs> if you're in Stadia. the US uh, exactly yeah. if you're in the US the UK or Korea you can apply to try it out um and uh you'll be able to play Halo 5 Guardians Gears 5 Halo, I'm sorry Halo 5 Guardians Gears 5 Sea of Thieves and Killer Instinct and all you need is a uh, an Xbox one controller and an Android phone to try Android it out. baby there you go uh, and so, yeah, they're going to be trying out their console streaming. Um, they talked about Atlas, a new game that's a pirate MMO. Huh. Uh, th- and they actually mentioned, hey, we're going to stress that this isn't like Sea of Thieves. Oh, sheesh, Louise. <laughs> oh, boy. When you have to do that, it's <laughs> yes, exactly that like Sea of Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or they're like, we know that a lot of people didn't like Sea of Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> so try this pirate game yeah, instead. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, oh. I, I kind of was interested in it. Oh, uh, really? There you go. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it piqued my interest for sure. Um, is it cartoony like Sea of Thieves, or is it grittier? Uh, it seems a little grittier. It seems a little more. Um, I don't know. Like you can. It just seems a little more piratey. I guess. Nice. Nice. Uh, which huh. is which is pretty good. Maybe it may not be grittier, but a little more reality based. Whereas. Yeah, I don't know. It just looked okay. more like an Assassin's Creed version Ooh, of a okay. pirate MMO. Uh, gotcha. If that makes sense. Um, I, I didn't really care for the way that they uh, they they had uh, um, Major Nelson and a couple other co-hosts, and it just seemed kind of. I would have liked if it was just Major Nelson talking about all of these things. Um, they had to have like the younger kid that was like, "Oh, you old grandpa!" Like like every kid on a Disney Are show you does. Serious. Uh, and it was just, uh, I didn't really care for that approach and just, just talk about the games and don't worry about your, it felt you really cringe worthy. Pr- it did. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I gross. get it. You think you're funny. Let's go on to the games and, and oh that kind of a thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why do they do that? You think? I don't know if they think that like that's a saved by gonna... the bell com- show. Exactly. Yeah. It was just, weird. Hey, 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 what's going on in here? <laughs> They're like major Nelson. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was just yeah there were three hosts and the female I, I she just had to rip on the other two the whole time and i just i don't know what just, is that i don't know i get it you're young and sarcastic and witty but you're not funny and you're not good at it so next <laughs> holy oh, this is weird Gross. Uh, they talked about xbox one s and one s hardware bundles uh, that include forza horizon 4 and the lego speed champions and then they showed trailers for a bunch of games coming up uh, Children of Morta, huh. Co- Code Vein, which is a vampire-themed uh, game by Bandai Namco, who, uh, because it's vampire and blood-related, they're actually going to be at TwitchCon this weekend, partnered with the Red Cross. If you donate oh. blood, oh. you get a free copy of the game. <laughs> yes. What a great idea. <laughs> Are you going to do it? Promotion. Oh, you got to do I, it, man. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. You yeah, definitely you should do it. Do you, have you donated if, blood before? I never have. Oh, uh, it's great. Do it, man. But it's I'm totally down for a free it. cookie and a yeah. free game. So <laughs> skip the cookie, man. They got donuts most of the time. Get those donuts oh, and nice. a game. Yeah. yeah I man. actually used to like me and my friends got into giving blood for a little bit. It was really weird. But at the same time, <laughs> you feel like you're helping. Yeah, you do. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> They're going to ask you all kinds of really inappropriate questions, and I can't wait for you to cringe. It'll be great. Oh, nice. That's yeah. what I should Twitch stream. Yeah, that's you what you should Twitch stream. Oh, yes. my gosh, Ed. <laughs> that's yes, perfect. Please do. Please do. Please do. Please do. Please do. And here's the needle going into my arm. Yep. No, and right. here's, here's me turning white and nearly yeah. passing out. No, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. We're good. And We're I'm, good. I'm sure I'll be the only one doing it as well. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's, that's great. They talked about the Outer Worlds um, coming October 25th. After Party, they mentioned it as well. Um, Tropico 6, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, 
Uh, the beta is this weekend, the full game coming October 4th. Uh, Hitman 2's Haven Island uh, expansion, which is available now. Ah. Uh, new DLC for Ace Combat 7, and a new map for DayZ called Livonia coming soon. So they, um, Xbox wanted to let people know that they were around as well yesterday. They couldn't let Sony have a I know, day. Right? <laughs> Give Sony a day. You can have another day. They're like, oh, us fine. too. We've got some bad jokes we want to tell. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's, that's funny. Up. That's good. Chris said the same thing. He was like, man, it's so cringeworthy watching these guys go back Did and he forth really? on this couch. Yeah. Yeah. He said the way they have it set up is just like so free flowing that it's like, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. You guys don't know what you're doing. Like, just right. like, I wonder why they do that, though. I, I mean, don't know. You must I mean, think that you're, I don't I know. I feel like Major Nelson is such a, you know, kind of like, uh, 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 I forget his name. The guy who just left Nintendo. Um, uh, and Reg- got- Reggie. Reggie. Yeah, he's oh, kind of like Fizeme. Xbox's Reggie. And you know, I think people like hearing from Major Nelson. I don't think they Is mind him. Is he as him. endearing as Reggie? I, I, th- I don't know if he's as endearing, but I think he's, um, kind of like uh, I, 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 I don't remember names anymore, so I'm not going to try it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There was a guy that used to be on MT Kurt Loader that was on MTV yeah, News for way Kurt too Loder. long. Yeah, he Kurt was Loder. Way, he was way too old, but he just kept doing it. But he like was Kurt old Loder. when you think about it. Yeah. That's funny. Wow, that's so, funny. Yeah, I think people know Major Nelson. They they know his name. They've come to trust him. You know, it's kind of like, oh, look, there he is. You know, I, if I, I would have been happy if it was just him doing his thing. And you don't have to make it into a an awkward award show banter. Right. Just, Talk right. about the games. There you go. Well, Ed, why don't you keep it rolling? All righty. Well, uh, we've got over on the YouTube channel. We've got more Borderlands for you. Uh, yeah, we do. Episodes five through seven. So you can go watch that and uh, get your fill. Um, With any of your characters, do you think that you're close to the end? I'm closer with the one I'm playing with, Sarah. <laughs> I, I I think we're close to the end. I think we're we're nearing it. We're zeroing in on it. Um, when I was in the area that Tim is in now, they have a lot of radios in the Borderlands world, and I was like, do I do I hear? I think I hear. And then I don't want to say a name, but it was a, yeah. a voice I recognized. And then we've just reached an area where it's like, yep, that sure is him. Oh, so it was kind of fun to see. Nice. Um, nice. We mentioned PS plus, uh, MLB, the show, the last of us part two remastered, um, just the last of us remastered, uh, the last of us. What was that? Not the last of us two, just the last of us Us part two. Yes. Yes. Close. Uh, uh, as far as game pass goes, they announced that coming to PC, they've got city skylines, saints row four, Bad North and Dirt Rally 2.0. And uh, we do have one new iTunes review. Oh, I, oh by all with, means. With the topic, My Brothers, My Fam. It's a five-star review written by that Lem guy. Oh, hey. Lem. Hey. Says, I started listening to the podcast around episode 230-something. Admittedly, uh, it was only here and there to begin with. Then one day it clicked. Oh, geez, these guys are me and my friends. A bunch of jokers who try to have a conversation about topics, but they will have squirrel. They will have moments in there that are priceless. Ain't that the truth? They are not the reason I've stayed, though. Thank you, Lem. It's the community of friends that has grown considerably to be part of my daily routine. And I can't agree more. Uh, Because of the community surrounding this podcast, I can't wait to hear more from them. Should you subscribe? Oh, yes, yes, (laughs) y'all. P.S. I swear I did a, new, a, a, a review already, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a little guilty conscience yeah, going yeah, on there, Lem. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Lem, for that review. I appreciate that. That's awesome, That's man. That's awesome. And Lem is, he's taken the challenge. The he 365 has. challenge accepted. He's not the only one. Yes, wow. that's but crazy. He is doing the spot, the biggest differences between now and the original episodes and he started on episode one. Uh, some of the things he listed were that the audio is much quieter. Um, <laughs> he said, what's with only an hour show. Cause back yep, then yep. our big, we were like, 
okay, we can't go over an hour. Like, yeah. you know, we, we were like, nobody's going to want to listen. So the show kind of, you know, was fluid between 45 minutes to like an hour and sometimes mm-hmm. an hour and 15 if we were feeling super crazy. That's and right. then people start writing in like, this show is too short. And so <laughs> right. we uh, started, go- started going longer. So, um, yeah, I'm so glad people are going back and doing that. That's going to be so much fun. Mm-hmm. He said That's the hardest hilarious. thing about it is to not listen to the next one right away. Yeah, he was like, I have to wait the next day to listen to the next one. So, yep, um, I love that. So that's so cool. Yes, and people were telling us happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thanks, Ed. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. We asked you, what character would you like to see in a fighting game that's not in one already? We told you it could be from any form of entertainment. Twitter, we got Carlos uh, Vaquera, John Wick. He knows Gung Fu. Ooh. John Wick would be awesome. Mm, Tristan right? Jones, give me a vault dweller. They've got good they've got guns and melee weapons, plus the special and superpowers could be based on the different perks they can have. Mm. That's what you guys are, right? Is that you guys vault dwellers? Vault hunters. Vault hunters. Vault this one's hunters. like vault dwellers. Well, maybe it's the same thing. Uh Aaron Chris Aaron Christopher Moore, Master Chief or Jack and Dexter. That's oh, a good one. all right. I know. Mike Peacock, forgive me, but it was the first character to pop in my head. Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that'd be so <laughs> funny. Uh, over on Twitter, Nick. Oh, shoot. Huntress. Yes. Sora. From Kingdom Hearts, he has the Keyblade and a whole host of special moves to choose from. Also, if all else fails, he can just bore his opponents to death with a really long cutscene. Am I right, Gabe? <laughs> nice. That's amazing. That is really funny. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I love this one. Marcus at Low Marcus. Great question. I'd like to see my boy lion the Lord oh of Thundercats, gosh. and his wow. nemesis. Uh, Mumra, that's Mumra. Oh, I love wow. that. Freaking Thundercats, yeah. right? Um, snarf, snarf. <laughs> oh, man. Cure for the common game at Cure underscore game. John McClane. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. That's, yes. I, I, when it, you know, an answer is good when it's short. Yep. Yep. That's, that's it. That's all you need to say. No explanation <laughs> needed. That's all you needed to say. Yep. And I love that. That's brilliant. Um, over on Discord. Uh, we got friggin' nutcase. He goes, well, Forrest Gump, of course. <laughs> he can run past everyone and throw shrimp at them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I like the addition of the words, of course. Of course. Exactly. <laughs> like, duh. <laughs> um, That's awesome. B-Dog, 1221. Rafiki from The Lion King, of Ooh. course. We got a taste of uh, the action during the Battle of Pride Rock. I didn't see the newest That's one. That's right. Yeah. He did Even fight in the, the cartoon, original. though, yeah, he fought. Yeah. That's right, with his stick, right? Yeah. Curtis McCoy the second. I think Bobby Boucher from Waterboy is the obvious <laughs> yeah. answer. <here. laughs> yes. You're in for a good whooping if you talk about his water. Oh, yeah, my gosh. Funny. I love that the first three or so are like <laughs> Forrest Gump, of course, Rafiki, right. of course, and Bobby Boucher from Waterboy is the obvious <laughs> answer. Duh. Right? I knew we were going to get some great answers. Oh, on this my one. gosh. There's so many, you guys. Go look on the Twitter and Facebook. There's so many answers. Uh, yeah. We're running short on time, or I would have read a whole bunch. Um, but doggone it. Love those, it. That's really funny. Um, you know where to find us Facebook.com slash married to the games. Come uh, join the community group. It's awesome. Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Of course, on married to the games.com. Um, like Ed said, youtube.com slash married to the games. Now on Patreon for a dollar a month, you can support the show and jump in this amazing discord where we got real talk going on in there and mm-hmm. game talk um, at patreon.com slash MTTG. And Edward. Rate us on iTunes, leave a comment, subscribe. Chris, Jenna, McCracken family, we love you. Rest Amen. in peace, Ron McCracken. Yes, Amen. sir, for the second week in a row. Yeah, mm. second week in Gracious. a row. Gracious. 
Well, let's get into some questions! start with discord spencer mm. with some serious real life issues affecting the mttg crew i thought this was appropriate appropriate what is the best advice you have received that has helped you in a meaningful way oh man the, that's a heavy one yeah that's a heavy yeah. one the best what was it the best what best advice the be- best you advice? have received that has helped you in a meaningful way uh so this is a little weird, but it really is like to be quiet, to pray and to like zoom out. Mm. So mm-hmm. when things like this happen, you get such tunnel vision, you know, as you should, because, you know, your life is kind of crumbling. But unfortunately, the world doesn't go on pause, even though it feels like it should. And yeah, but and but your life kind of feels like it goes on pause for a second. Um, kind of like when 9-11 happened and it feel like somebody just hit the pause button on America and mm-hmm. we just like sat at the television for like three days. Um, but once you're able to like zoom out a little bit and kind of see it from above and start because when you're in it, you can't see your blessings that are like in your life normally. Right. Um, but when you can kind of like pro con your life. Um, I think that starts to help the healing process because Mm -hmm. usually people do still have a lot more pros in their life than they do cons, even though the cons in how they feel so outweigh everything at the moment. So I think prayer, time, and then perspective. Mm -hmm. Mm, I like that. Ed? Yeah, kind of on that same same vein. I mean, we've all gone through tough times and we're still here. Yeah. And yep. we'll be here and we'll make it through. It doesn't always feel like we can. We right. sometimes can't see how we're going to get through. But if we can remember that we've gotten through before. Yes. You know, at least you you can have a little peace knowing that this this it's this too will pass. Yep. Woo. Yeah, well. Tim. I love that. Yeah, mine was similar. Uh listen first. Yeah. Just listen gather the information first don't be quick to judge don't be quick to go to immediately come back listen first and gather everything before either making a decision before speaking before and before acting listen first mm-hmm. there you go i like it great question spencer thank you for that greek gamer a slight twist on the question of the week this week you could take any character in gaming or movies and put them in overwatch oh, oh shoot. who would you, who would you pick what class would they be and what would their weapons and or special skills be? I'm not going to be able to come up with this. Uh, no. But I'll put... Um, shoot. I'll put Neo in Yo, there. Good one. Because I love Neo. And class? What class would he be? He'd be... That's a, DPS, right? Yeah, he's got to be... He's got to be Assault. But like one of those like assault support mashups in the sense of like he can yeah, block like bullets Mora. and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. He could dodge bullets, kind of like uh, you know, it'd be similar play as Genji, except he wouldn't be reflecting them back. Maybe yep. it's just like you know he can dodge for you know point eight seconds, um, incoming bullets, and then I don't know yep. what his alt would be. Something like freezing time or something like that in a bigger yeah. radius than like May, and you know right away. What say you, Ed? That's tough. tough That's to a do. tough one. Um, I, I'm because it's got the 25th anniversary going on. I'm going to say Joey Tribbiani from Friends. Oh my gosh, you are oh crazy! Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's yes. a damage character. But then his alt is he becomes a tank and he puts on all of Chandler's clothes, his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and he just smashes into things. Oh, oh, that's good. I like that. I like that. That's hilarious, Tim. Ah, uh, man, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say The Rock. Ooh, Tank. yes. Uh, Him I don't and Doomfist know what his... can fight it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Kind of like, I think he would be more of like a melee character, but like really powerful. 
special skills would be oh man i don't know <laughs> yeah that's tough uh, he he'd put, especially he'd put everybody like in a headlock. Make, well yeah. or that or immediately make everybody lift weights in his gym <laughs> i think <laughs> he does that like that I, he should that, do like a thing like um a mix that gives between, you time to pick them off a mix between orissa and uh brigetta or bridget <laughs> as we call it oh yeah there you go Where they, it's kind of like a call Give to arms boost. and everybody gets a boost or something like yeah, that. yeah i like that oh, let's yeah. do that everybody like with, gets a... with the raise of an eyebrow yeah. that's right <laughs> the people's Ooh, eyebrow raise of an eyebrow yep mm -hmm. smell what the rock is cooking and then everybody gets a 50 pound weight perfect <laughs> yeah i like it <laughs> i like it nice good question beef master serta do you have any unique pet names for your pets no that's no. it's a pet already I call mine the idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you have sometimes they are. I'm like, you idiots, get over here. Yeah, we. Uh, or I'll call them. I'll call them the kids too. Yeah, we just yeah, Sadie, Sadie Marie Dog is what we call her. Oh, oh yeah. nice, Sadie yeah. Marie it's her, Dog. It's that's her right. full name. She's so cute. Yes. Ed, you have a pet name for uh, Batman? But sometimes we'll just call Batman a little mongrel. <laughs> nice little <laughs> mongrel. Like I love it. Uh, uh, Lord Zukor then added to this. Do you and your wife have any pet names for each other? Uh, <laughs> Say it, Gabe. No, I don't think I don't think we do. Oh, do man. I have one for Jenny? Have you heard me say one? I don't know. I don't think we do. I don't think we. we... I feel like you guys call each other babe. Yeah, we that's call what each other Lauren, babe. Lauren calls me babe. And that's when I'm like, oh, God, what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. Yeah, exactly. No, actually, it's it's honey. And then I'm like, oh, oh boy, okay. What am I? What do I got to do now? <laughs> <laughs> and I call I call her Boo all the time. There you go. Ed, do you have any? Uh, yeah, I call Sarah Zaz, and she calls me Zeddy. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, MTDG Street. If you got a job for Nintendo, Sony, or Microsoft, what would you change? If I got a job oh, there, yeah, um, for for either Nintendo, Sony, or Microsoft. Shoot, I guess I would uh, script write for Inside Xbox. Oh, there you go, yeah. <laughs> Ed. <laughs> I would. I would also. Yeah, I hate this because I I I don't hate Xbox. Right, but I for Xbox I'd be like, okay, um. Let's maybe not green anymore. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> really? Nice. Just, Holy crap. Green it up a little. <laughs> oh, shoot. What color would you go with? I don't know. Red? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Teal? I guess Nintendo's kind of red. Yeah, Nintendo's red. PlayStation's blue. I don't know, like a burnt umber? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my burnt gosh. Umber. I'm just tired of green. Maybe a different shade of green. Maybe more of a, yeah. uh, 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 a grass green than a... Uh, uh, than an annoying eyeball. green as you would call yes. it yeah, okay <laughs> Tim uh, it would be I would be with Sony probably and it would I'd probably just uh, be in their kind of their A&R and, and look for more first party developers Ooh. out there mm. yeah, I love doing that kind of stuff and like seeing new blood coming in and, yeah. and just you know see what's out there and get to them first be like a scout for them I think that'd be cool Nice. I like that. That is cool. Fluxel, Adam Paith. Is there something everyone else on the planet seems to know that you should or shouldn't do and you only find out later? For example, when I got engaged, I honestly had no idea you were supposed to ask your future father-in-law for his blessing slash permission. Hashtag oops. Hashtag awesome in-laws. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, knew later wow. that I should have known earlier, but didn't. Yeah. That it was a uh, lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> I found that out way later that there's an and in there. No, lactose. I, sorry, that I say it was an and. I used to say it with an and. Lactose intolerant. I thought it, intolerant. Oh, right. Not that it was right. lactose intolerant. Yeah, I was a grown man saying that. So, Tim? Yeah, like, I always thought it was nip it in the butt. Me too. But it's nip it in the bud. Yeah, I thought it was butt too. I thought it was butt for the longest time until Lauren's like, uh, it's nip it in the butt. I'm like, what? You're like, you're still saying butt, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the same. You're like, what's the problem? That's what I said, nip it in the butt. 
Yeah. They're like, no, nip it in nip the it. butt. You're like, yeah, nip it in the butt. What's yeah, the problem yeah. here? That's what I said. Exactly. Ugh. Yeah. And <laughs> what you got? I learned, I think I was in my 30s when I realized that uh, England was an island. <laughs> oh, nice. Ah. Nice. That's awesome. I'm, yeah. I love it's that. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> 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 you're like what's that thing that. off the coast of england i was like that's wait right. what they're like that no that's england yeah you're like no no oh, no that's no, hilarious. no off the coast of england <laughs> that's really funny uh, i right. thought it was like portugal where it was attached like portugal is attached to spain i thought it was attached to the rest of europe like that. <laughs> that's hilarious that's great man i <laughs> love that funny. all right we got one last one scott thompson and it's a quick fire Ooh, let's go Ooh. okay control freaks if yes which design um in parentheses, what is control freak? I have no idea what that is. Control freaks. Is it cereal? So which design? Control. Is it control a cartoon? Freaks. Is it a headset or a uh what is it? I have no idea. I, I don't know. I'm gonna guess, right. I'm gonna just answer like this, uh the dual shock four. If I'm a dual control freak, which one do I like better? I'm yeah. going with that. <laughs> okay. One. Okay, headset brand. Right now I'm using the steel series. Yeah, buddy. And I That's love them. I, aren't they fan? I love those. I That's what I've got them. too. I, I they was are so good. I was a uh, what do you call him? Skull candy guy for Skull a candy. while. For a while, and then uh, switched to who makes Hesh? The Hesh headphones. Anybody remember that Hesh? No idea. No idea. Um. Anyway, sounds German though. Let me. I think there's. Oh, there's Skull Candy. Yeah. So I was Skull Candy okay. before. Now I'm Steel Series. Ed, I have uh, Astros, but I don't really have a a, 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 a loyalty to anyone. There you go. Nice. Uh, gaming chair, couch, or floor? <laughs> uh, a chair, but not a gaming chair. It's like an office chair, unfortunately. Nice. Because it's out here yeah. in my shed. I wish I had a gaming chair. Ed, knees? Knees for Overwatch. Everything else is just our Ikea chair in the living room. Nice. There you go. I'm on, I'm on couch. There you go. Game sessions, morning or night? Uh, mm -hmm. Morning. Night. Anytime I can do it. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, favorite game type? Uh, Good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, great. <laughs> um, single player adventure. Even though I've loved mm. my uh, online mm -hmm. uh, multiplayer lately. Yeah, I'm with you. Single yep. player adventure. Same. Same. Uh, mobile game or board games? Ooh, board games. Yeah, I could go either way, but I play more mobile games than board games right now. Board games. Okay. Yeah. This one's an easy, and this is the final one. Completionist or nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Completionist <laughs> for me. It, yeah, it depends on the game. I know sometimes it's too much to complete, so I'm just yeah. saying no. <laughs> that is true, but I still try to if I can. Yeah. There we go. That is it for the questions. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Um, the question of the week for you guys: If you won a thousand dollars. And you could only spend it on gaming stuff. Ooh. What would you buy? I'll go first. I think I'd have to spread it around. And I mean, mm. obviously, I'd buy a bunch of games for a bunch of systems. I'd probably end up getting the new the, the PS4 Pro because I don't have it. I do have the Xbox One X. Um, but then I'd probably get some like speaking of just a second ago, I'd probably get some banging headphones. Nice. Yeah. Like just the top of the line headphones, but I definitely would um, have all the newest systems if I can make that work in the thousand dollars. Right. So the PS4 Pro. Uh, nice. Am I buying a light switch? I don't think so. Not yet. PS4 Pro banging headphones and the rest is going to gaming and maybe one memorabilia thing. One, maybe nice. one collect like Ooh. the expensive Final Fantasy seven collector's edition with the with no. the statue. Cause I got the I, go. I got one of the little collection bundles, but not with the statue. Okay, Ed? gotcha. Uh, I I'm gonna echo that. I'm gonna say headphones. Oh yeah. Um, just because I can't get a gaming PC for a thousand. Ooh, oh, you could maybe you put one together. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I put maybe. mine together. It was, I think it was eleven hundred, maybe. I might have to hire you to come up and put it together. For, I'd be so <laughs> nervous to do that. <laughs> really? Yeah, right. So nervous. Yep, I would too. I'd oh, be like, ah, man. what am I doing? Yeah. 
Uh, I would buy them. I would get a thousand dollars worth of Best Buy gift cards because then I could just do whatever I wanted. Because <laughs> if I needed headphones, I could go get them. If I won games, I could get yeah. them. If there's a new console coming out and go get them. That's all I've ever done. Yes, Best Buy gift right. cards. I've never had to buy an actual game ever. for myself. That's amazing. So that's really RIP Gamer, Gamers Club, too. I oh, know. Still pissed that that's not there. Stupid. Yeah. I totally agree. Um, let us know if you won $1,000 and you could only spend it on gaming stuff, what would you buy? And we will talk about it next week. Three, a short, short 367 in the books. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man we'll have chris mccracken back next week thank you guys so much for being here i'm gabe patillo that is tim router that is ed placencia and we are married to the games and we are up out this thing